returning to Admag for one last job. It seems that Silvershade has run across an interesting kerfuffle. Well, that's a weird word for it, but it works. Caravan or drone hives are being slaughtered. Wow, the arm just came right off by the Shek Guardians. And of course, it seems our dear boy, Silvershade, is going to help take care of the Shek Guardians. Welcome back to Kenshi, everybody. And yeah, I don't know why this is happening, uh, but it is. But that's a, not necessarily a bad thing. And the reason I stopped on our way here to watch the fight play out is because of this. There is a lot here <laughs> we could easily steal. We don't really need wheat straw or any of that, but the free food and all of that is uh, is super valuable. I'm probably going to drop a couple things here, grab some extra bandages, take the money. Um, the food, we can take one more food cube. Oh, we can't. I don't know if I really want to drop. Yeah, we'll drop that. That's fine. We'll rearrange. And I think that's fine right there. We don't need much else, and it spoils for ourselves. However, uh, we are heading back into Admag one more time because Rust Tilt has made a decision, and he would have told this to Silvershade at some point between Silvershade heading back to the home base and heading back out to continue doing his thing. I think it's it could be Stack. Um, so I don't want to say what it could be until uh, we are done. I don't know why. Is he going to murder them? No. All right. I just want to make sure he wasn't about to murder a bunch of other people. But I want to try something. I don't know if it's going to work. It probably will. We're going to end up doing it to... I think the Dust King first. This is just a paladin. We can't stealth KO him. And I can't do it over here either. Well, it doesn't really matter if we miss, I don't think. They can't really go anywhere. I'm curious. You might be wondering what I'm doing, and I promise, I promise, I promise. Uh, I will let you know as soon as I have an answer. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Move. He's just going to be taken down. Okay, we're going to take him. Perfect. They actually don't even care. That's even better. We've made the money off of these folk. And I imagine there was a conversation between Silvershade and, uh, and the Shek. That while we appreciate them keeping them prisoner in that uh, the Shek do deserve the honor uh, for holding a lot of these prisoners because they have moved out and taken some of their cities. Silvershade and Rusthilt would have reached out and offered a deal. We have no interest in taking Admag, Stack, Bad Teeth, or any of that. That fully belongs to them at this point, as far as we're concerned. However, however, we, in turn, for saying no to these cities, say, we would like the prisoners, not because we don't trust you from keeping them out of the public, but because the ways of the wasteland are not lost on us. The, the ways of the wasteland are violent and messages are necessary in order for those who cross our paths to know the dangers they tread upon should they cross us. Trust is earned and easily lost. And any who come to deal with the Rust Bandits on our outpost on our home turf will have a message. Way, way back, when I first downloaded Kenshi, I decided there were very few mods I wanted to download. One of them being the Dark UI mod after seeing how much better it is, but nothing that changed really any gameplay mechanics. I figured after I told a story or two that I wanted to tell, uh, then maybe I would mod the game a little bit more, a little bit more heavily, so we can continue having adventures in Kenshi and still learning and experiencing new things. Uh, and there's quite a few different stories I'd love to tell that are not just Rust Hilt uh, in Kenshi. I feel like it's, it's you know, a veritable fertile farming ground for good stories. But there was one very tiny mod that I downloaded when we first uh, picked up Kenshi and I first started to play it and I realized I was going to love this game. And that is going to be shown here in a minute. And the reason I downloaded it is because if uh, 
Rust Tilt became a bad guy or um, a ruthless man in general, it would make sense for him to have uh, what I'm about to place these people on. But if Rust Tilt ended up becoming way too friendly, I wouldn't use them and nobody would know. Unfortunately for everyone, uh, I didn't kind of know what kind of city we were going to be starting in and having the Shek be some of the first he interacts with, some of the first he becomes friends with, and the first companion he ever had was Ruka, really formed the direction Rustilt went in my mind, uh, narratively. He's still a good man at heart, but he knows the ways of the waste, and seeing, you know, think of being, thinking about it, the Shek are kind of like the friendliest of them all, if you, if you are talking pure... Uh, honor and morals, just because, whoa, we're being chased. I think we're still way too fast, though. Um, but mainly because of, uh, whoop. Are you chased? Who are you? The others have slavery and, and religious hatred and freedom. Kral's chosen. Okay, that's fine. Let them, let them chase. We're not going to be hanging out around here for too, too long. And if they chase us all the way back, we'll have turrets raining down on them. It does look like they plan on chasing us all the way back. Which is a pain. I'm gonna see if I can lose them. I'm just gonna have him keep running. We got swamp creatures. Alright, we're gonna have to swing out this way. Crawl's chosen are gonna have to get shot at here. So let's bring them in. I want to see how far behind they are. Not very. So the plan is going to be run in, run out. Oh, he's in the city. Oh, he glitched himself into the city. Well, that works. Okay. Yeah, and they're just going to leave, which is hilarious. So, Silvershade, please stop. Let's make sure he's completely looted. Um, we'll drop these just so we can take these off and drop them. Their punishment means they will not be wearing anything. So, what is it, M Mike, or Mathis, should I say, uh, that you are hinting at? Well, it might seem a little cruel, but this long hallway has inspired me. If we come out here and turn, you can see some makeshift crosses. We're going to run over. And our dear friend is going to be placed on these crosses. Unable to move. Unable to do anything. And Seta will be placed on this one. And they will serve as a warning. The first and second to fall to our blade and our ambition. And ideally, maybe, if we end up continuing and getting a, a ton of other people... We could easily line the walls with crucifixes so that when they walk up here, when they attack, they'll see what uh, awaits them. Maybe give them second thoughts. So we're going to be sending him back to Admag and we're going to be grabbing Seta. Is it cruel? Oh, absolutely. 100%. He's retreating fast. That's the goal of his character. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. His leg and arm are crippled, and he is... Basically, the way this works mechanically, I believe, is that they just act like prison cells. So placing a prison cell out here could be dangerous, especially if it gets picked by anything, but for now, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think it's really neat, and the risk, even though there's a risk there, uh, mechanically, uh, I'm okay with it, just because it just looks cool. So we're going to go grab Seta. We'll do the same thing to them and we'll return. And then our ambitions move to the north, uh, where I wanted to scout initially. I think it was up here anyway. The holy military base and such. But I could be wrong, because we have not found the other one. After a short conversation with Asada, and a desperate attempt to flee, Silvershade throws Seta over his shoulder. The last of the two to display outside his rust banded outpost. Some may see it as cruel. Silvershade sees it as due course for their actions. Taking it in and seeing their accomplishments displayed like this, Silvershade feels proud. One of the most dangerous men in this part of the wasteland is now not only defeated, his cities lost and his men slaughtered. He is displayed like a trophy for all those 
who will cross Rusthilt and his crew. The sun will beat on him for as long as he breathes, and he will be sure to be fed and kept alive for as long as possible. It feels like the Silvershade chapter of the story is kind of happening right now. He's so valuable and so good at what he does that it's hard for me to not want to use him. So I think we're going to make a very small change here, one that's been necessary for a while. Uh, we're going to take a look at our squads and we're going to swap out two. We're going to take Heft and Rock and throw them on the Forgotten, or actually we're going to throw them at uh, the Rust Bandit out Outpost. And then we're going to take the Lower Servant and put him in squin work, and we could throw Ephid out there, and it might not be a bad idea to put Ephid out there as well, because I'm realizing, yeah, there's another lower servant actually, because I'm realizing that um, they, these folk, uh, who have been working in squin for so long, have been uh, a bit, shall we say, trained, maybe even overly trained. They have been working so hard and so long. Where are they? We want Rock. We'll just start sending him out here and Heft as well. Uh, and basically, they, they're, they've they been out there so long, their skills are really good now. So we're going to have them come back and we're going to have them actually serve as the base proper. And the two new folk are going to head out that way and they're going to get the jobs to mine and sell. And they're going to be kind of thrown out there to get that kind of crash course training that the rest haven't. I take Zija, but looking at Zija's stats, they're not quite good enough. Katana's actually, he's actually fine. Yeah, let's take Zija and run him over here too. We might only need two workers, genuinely, uh, because of the money that we're making. So Zija will be get thrown uh, down here as well, and uh, they're gonna get brought over proper. They spent, they've really spent an eternity out in Squin. Um, so to get the call that they're gonna be coming out this, they can come out this way. I hope is really exciting for them. Hopefully they're not thrown off too much by the crude display we have out here. We're gonna leave the gate open for now. Uh, and as I said, this kind of feels like... Oh, there's still one dragon that lives there, huh? This kind of feels like Silvershade's tale right now. Very much his story. Um, there's still some dust bandits and Tower of Ninjas and ninjas that are wandering around, but we're not going to worry too much about them. For now, we're going to keep on scouting. I can't remember if we checked out this holy military base. I know it's something we were going to at some point, but I can't remember if we did. So I'm going to send him out there and we're looking for the final general, more or less, to take in, kill, and then we can display as well after we hand it in. Got a lot of moving gears happening right now. The, the base is actually running at a pace that I'm not really all that stressed out about. In fact, if we go inside here, let's just make sure we have food. You know, Beep has been farming like a madman. We have 41 bread. We're out of food items here, so that's a little worrying. Hopefully the bread and whatnot will get back to it. Oops, I didn't mean for Beep to get that. There we go. Oh, you have a book, huh? Oh, I forgot to empty freaking. Silvershade's inventory. Dagnabbit, I forgot. Nobody's being attacked yet, which is good. If anyone gets attacked, I'm hoping it'll be Silvershade because he's the one that can handle it. Once everybody reach, arrives at their new outpost, we'll assign them all their jobs on both sides. Looks like there might be an attack happening over here in base as I was watching. I'm not sure who? Rock is being attacked. Starving bandits, of course. The fact that there are even still starving bandits around blows my mind. Who's over here? Oh, you're, you're attacking a bone dog. Good luck. Good luck. That bone dog will likely destroy you. But it seems Rock is going to be the first one to arrive. So we're going to take out those jobs, and Rock is an incredible shot on the turret. So that's his going to be his job. He's going to be a turret man instantly. Ooh, are we out of turrets? Are we fully manned? 
No, Rock is gonna take that last one. Hobbs? Where's Hobbs going? Alright, there we go. And we still have an open one. Here comes Heft. Not very good at crossbows, but that's alright. We're not gonna have you operate anything right now. We're just gonna have you run in. Now, we're not missing anybody else that's coming here. Oh no, Zija. Zija's on the way. So for now, you have food. Enjoy it. Uh... I don't know if this needs to be operated. I didn't think it did. More thuds. The machine is full. Oh. Oh, do we have nothing for steel bars, really? Or are we full for steel bars? We might just be full on steel bars right now. Yeah, we're full up on steel bars. Alright, that's okay, though. She'll have a job when it's time. Ooh, what's happening? Why is everybody running out? Why is Minnick over here? Minnick, you're done for now. Let's get you down here. What is happening? Other than chaos. It's Inquisitor's playing dead, Hungry Bandit. Zija, where are you at, Zija? Did you just stop trying? Did everybody stop moving? No, you're still moving. Come on, Zija. I need you to be moving. We got things to do. Silvershade travel's taking quite some time. Roaming pop. There's 20 residents on this farm. Oh, that's just because it's the farm. I'm surprised they haven't been completely annihilated yet. Is I wonder if Blister Hill is where I need to go. Let's see. Okay, we're in Ocran's Pride and there's a farm here. I'm actually wanted to scout it out real quick and see if there's bad things. Oh, we're getting shot at? Really? You're shooting at me? I mean, you have good stats, surprisingly. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Silvershade can do this on his own. Whoop. I'm hoping he can. The Me Too blade is great. Just goes for the gut, takes out the legs and the arms so they can't fight. Yeah, down they go, and then he's gonna swing up. Yeah, good. See what happens. Oof. We got shot in the head. Wow, we're getting a, just stomped on all of a sudden. Maybe because they're guards. Makes sense. Hopefully if we take these two down, Silvershade could take them. Wow. If he can do anything to take them down. Oof. Before he gets taken down, he'll be able to first aid himself. Alright, one down means he can focus. And these guys are dropping like flies. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. First aid yourself, homie. We also want to make sure they don't do anything when they get up, so we're going to go ahead and just arrange, and we're going to start picking things up and dropping them. No armor, so if we fight them, they die fast. We don't want them either to heal, so hopefully they won't wake up anytime soon. Still unconscious and bleeding out. Same thing. Nothing in the bag. Holy flame book. Not much worth stealing either. Seems like there's a lot of people missing. For 20 some odd residents. Hello. Stuff to steal. Some food is never a bad thing. Lots and lots and lots of food. I'm stupid and did not empty my bag. So we'll be just leaving, I think, this place like it is. Hopefully they'll just die and bleed out. I was hoping we'd see more, but this was an easy one to hit. And we're going to move out and continue to scout. 
The domesticated bulls are good to remember because that's going to be food source if we ever need it. And here we are at Blister Hill, which I imagine is nothing bad. Holy Nation. Nope, I was... Okay, it's Holy Nation. Now the question is, how do I get in? That's a lot of roaming people. Let's see if they kind of scatter. I might be able to just run in. Taking a look around... This is a two-part city. Is she in there? I wonder if I could just sneak in. I don't think I can. Maybe at night? Oop. Nope, 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 nope. I'm much faster than them, so I'm not real worried. Okay, we're gonna cut real hard. I wanna get in the city before they get back. So basically all the guards... Oop, oop. No, there's more guards. All right, we might want to wait till nighttime, and then we can swing in. Holy God! Holy God! There's this is insane. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is a double gated section, which tells me over here is important people. Hi, Paladin. Am I in the wrong place? <laughs> Is this maybe where the Phoenix lives? Because this looks a little bit... A little bit difficult for me to, uh, to get through here. Look at this tower here. Well, let's back the hell up. Before we get popped with something. It's just a Holy Sentinel. I wonder if we can get in. Let's see if we can knock him out. And if we can s disguise ourselves. Okay, let's see. Well, we could throw this on. We actually already have... stuff. <laughs> we actually don't need it. But I'm gonna throw all this in there. Now, if I look at myself. How disguised am I? The answer's probably not very. I'm slow. Let's see if we can walk past them. Let's see if they want to attack us. Whore of Golem. Whore of the Golem. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, they want me to die. So, that didn't work out at all. See you later. We might try at darkness, but I feel like we're at least barking up the right tree. Don't think this is something Silvershade can do on his own. Nor do I think this is the right place to even be. We'll scout some other military bases, but for now, the punishment has been enacted. And we'll have to see what waits for us beyond these city walls.